hopefully I've done a good enough job job cutting off the life bounds that it doesn't really make sense for my opponent to buy the Granger, um, other than just to take it from me. Either way, that's kind of a win-win situation. If he's just buying Granger to take it from me and not uh, able to utilize it to any great effect, probably still winning that kind of uh, exchange. Uh, and I am going to be able to Brazer Drone my Umbral Edge, assuming I don't... Okay, he got the Dreamer's Glass, so... Yeah, I was going to say assuming I don't switch that up, but I'll be pretty happy to go ahead and pick up the Umbral Edge, probably. Uh, I do know I want to banish an Apprentice. And then... I do want to draw, too, yeah, because I've still got a couple of life bounds in the deck, and I'd like to try and unite the Spider Witch. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that uh, at this point. Um, I will take the Granger. I think it's more important than taking the Recycle Crab, even though I could put it directly into play. Um, and then I think I'll just... I don't think I'll take a Heavy or a Mystic... I think I want to keep my deck uh, thin. We're still pretty early, and I'm setting up for probably a more ridiculous turn. I mean, I could take the other Brazer drone, but I don't think that I really need to. I think, again, that one Brazer drone is probably going to be as many as I'm going to need or want. If you can make it feel like it's one rune and draw a card every turn, it's a pretty effective card. But just feel, you know, you have to feel like that, that it's almost a, like a wolf shaman that you have to work for in a lot of circumstances. You get it for two rune. Um, then you have to try to make it work, otherwise it's just an apprentice. So, not excited to go overboard on this. Um, meanwhile, he is still banishing with his death sworn warrior, adding more mystics. I feel like I'm going to be trying to add that Tower of Scar if I can. Though I also want to get the Beast Staff because of the Bracer Drone. Maybe I'll be able to do both. Um, I will start by picking up a Soul Gem, beating the Gromites. And I will... Let's see. So I could... Okay, there's a lot of rune. Uh, okay, so now I have seven total that I can produce this turn. I could buy the Synchronizer and pick it up with the Brazer Drone, and then that lets me buy the Tower of Scara as well. And I think that's what I want to do. I think that's the maximum value here. So, do that. Because, you know, the maximum value that I can get while still buying the uh, Tower of Scar, which is something I wanted to do. So... Um, otherwise, looks like I'm going to be beating up on some fanatics, and that's all I can do this turn. Uh, got things pretty well in hand, it looks like, and a significant in-game honor advantage. Um, I've been banishing pretty well, and I've got the life bounds. I'm going to continue to unite until I run the honor pool out. Um. He's got some rune, but it's going to be really hard with just a bunch of rune for him to catch up. Even if he could somehow build a larger deck. Uh, my uh, in-game on turns are probably going to continue to accelerate here. Uh, Tower Scar. Going to go ahead and discard a couple of those apprentices and then unite these lifebound cards. And then... Um, the only monster that I have enough for is Vandal Soul, and it makes perfect sense to do that at this point. Um, and the Cogmaw would be better with the Brazer Drone already in my hand. Uh, and I could just take the Stone Circle Elder. Actually kind of makes sense to do that. I think either way. I'm just going to take the Cogmaw. I'm far enough ahead that just anything that kind of extends my lead a little bit, you know, coming down the stretch here. We're almost to that point that you almost just have to buy Makana. Very late in the game. Should be one or two more turns each, maybe. So. Um, is that Deathsworn Warrior? So, like I said, I, I, I'm just not sure about keeping that card around this long. It just 
even though it got rid of a lot of his starters, he still had to keep drawing the Death Sworn Warrior. It was kind of, kind of like having an additional militia. Um, so, you know, I think that may have given me some advantage. Um, I think a big part of it was just going ahead and gambling on the Spider Witch early to go with my Shadowcaster. I think it's just really hard to pass Shadowcaster turn one. Um, I think most people would probably take that over the, uh, the Death Sworn Warrior, given the opportunity, so I did. Um, the Spider Witch, I'm not sure, um, but I think that's, I think that play is right, especially with the open board the way it was. Maybe if it was less open... And you're only going to have one or two cards you're going to have an opportunity at, necessarily, before the monsters kind of swarm the board. It might be different. Uh, but in the case, and the current, the situation the way it was, uh, all things being equal, basically, most of the time, I would prefer to get that spider witch, especially if I already have a banisher. Um, so I can put the stone circle elder on top. That seems pretty good. Um, and then, uh, at this point I can't buy, uh, oh, oh, I forgot my synchronizer. Yes, I can, in fact, buy, um, uh, the spark sprayer without popping anything here. I think I will because I can leave the Ascara of Souls on board, and then that gives me something to shoot for next turn, uh, with my Stone Circle Elder, so... Uh, if assuming there is a next turn, which there probably will be. He's really bought a lot of Mystic, uh, so. There's the Beast Staff. He does have a, a decent amount of Makana going on. So he's building some deck size, uh, but not really doing, you know, not really proceeding at, at a rate that you know, I guess, given some time, if I weren't uniting a bunch of lifebound cards, uh, his mechanics maybe could have grown out of control, especially with the Dreamer's Glass. But uh, as is, I think every turn I'm just extending my lead at this point. Uh, so... He's uh, pulling some Makana tricks. Uh, pick it up. I guess picking up the wormhole to get the crab back and doing some banishing. Good stuff. Uh, we get the auto builder. Alright, so um, I'll start by putting the Ascara on top and then basically directly in the hand. And see what kind of a uh, soul gem I get. It's our initiate. And then I will... Let's see, I can't quite... Uh, I could put a heavy on top. That's eh, not enough really to get around to. Um, to where I really want to be, which is like the Unchained Fates. Um, either way, I am going to pick up the Spark Sprayer. And eh, I'd probably be happier just trying to draw the Void Avenger. So, hey, hey there we go. Uh, oh, discarded the wrong card. Yeah. You know, I'm just going to banish the Abolisher. I was going to banish a starter in. Uh, anyways. And now I will take the. Uh, I think I'll take the Tarek the Trickster and copy the Honey Siren. And I need to actually move pretty quickly here. Uh, and just put this on top. Kind of running out of time at this point. So I'm just going to take a couple heavies and end the turn. Hopefully he will end the turn in the game. If not, I'll just have to take a very fast turn on this last turn. But should be fine. Like I said, I've built... A large enough lead. I think I slowed myself down uh, to some extent, kind of, you know, trying to talk through some of the plays and trying to explain uh, some of the thinking that that went into this. Um, 
I'd like to do longer games, but the problem is sometimes if I pick a 30-minute game, my opponent uh, feels like that they should be playing other games at the same time too, and then the video is going to drag on with a lot of downtime, um, and we certainly don't want that. So um, sometimes this this is you know what we run into, and I just didn't pay much attention to the clock. I kind of felt like. I was going to end this game pretty quickly uh, because of the life-bound stuff that I had going on, so I wasn't really that worried about it. But if I do get another turn, I guess I'll just, like, unite the Granger and kill a cultist or something and, and end the turn. Uh, unite the Granger and the Cyril and kill, kill a cultist, I mean. That'll make sure I get plenty of honor. Uh, he really does have a lot of Makanazot going on over there. Um, surprisingly effective, I guess pulling the Hedron Pyromaniac Bracer Drone tricks, uh, pretty sweet. Not bad at all. I might actually need to beat the Gromites just to make sure, uh, if I get another turn. Um, just to make sure that, you know, I have enough of a lead. I think I do, but, uh... Like I said, I'm going to end the turn. I feel like I've won the game. I could have clearly gotten a significant amount of more honor there. I just didn't want to run out of time. I want to be able to show you guys a final score. Uh, and get credit for the win. You know. Uh, so, hopefully he doesn't get too crazy here. Okay, he just forfeited the game. So, uh, 